Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video on mounting this silent runner from Exotic Nutrition uh, hamster wheel to uh, a cage. Um, when I received my silent runner, I actually bought two of them, one for myself and one for my daughter who also has a hamster. Um, it actually came attached to the base and um, this isn't how I'm going to use it. Uh, because what I've heard is that um, when it's attached to the base, sometimes it can move around when the when the hamster actually runs on it. Uh, it comes with a piece of paper inside. You could actually just pull that out or you could pop off the top and take it out that way. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but now I want to, uh, to show you how you would attach it to a cage. So I purchased the 9-inch... Um, silent runner wheel from exotic nutrition and um this was perfect size for my syrian hamster and um if you plan on attaching it to the inside of a cage then you have to purchase the cage attachment which is right here it comes in a plastic container uh one thing i noticed that in the directions for the nine inch, they actually show circular plates. Um, and in the 12 inch, they showed the square plates. And um, the ones I received were the square plates, so I was confused maybe that they sent me the wrong um, cage attachment. But I called them up and they said I can use the, uh, the square plates for the nine inch um, silent on a wheel. You have a bolt right here. That actually goes into the wheel itself and comes out the other side. So that's the bolt. It's hard to see, but it's inside. The next piece would be the spacer. This is kind of a dry run we're doing. The spacer that actually keeps it away from the from the actual inside from the metal of the cage. Then you would have this plate which will go in the inside of the cage. And then you would have the cage itself would be here. And then you'd have another plate on the outside of the cage. And then you would have a lock washer. And then you would have this knob. And that will just screw in. So that's kind of how we're going to do it. It's kind of a dry run. So let me take the pieces out. And then we'll actually do it on the cage itself. But I'm going to leave the bolt inside. So where I'm going to put it, I'm going to have my wheel right on the inside here. This is my Preview 528 um, hamster cage. I just bought it. I haven't even put the bedding in yet. Um, but I figured this is a great time to show you how to install this 9-inch um, silent runner from Exotic Nutrition. So I'm going to come over here. What's nice about this cage is it has a big opening on the top. It has a big opening on the front. So I can actually put my hand through here and... Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this spacer. I'm going to put it right there because that will keep it a distance away from the actual metal of the cage. I'm then going to take this plate and put it there. And I'm going to come over here. Try to keep everything in place. And then I'm going to just 
make sure I'm up uh, a good height. I'm going to come down one rung because I want the hamster to be able to get in into the silent run. In fact, I'm going to come down one more. You don't want to go too low because then you're going to be hitting the bottom of the platform. So then I'm going to take the other plate and stick it right on the outside. Then I'm going to take the lock washer. All the same time I'm holding in the bolt with my finger on the inside of the silent runner. And then I'm going to take the knob. And all I'm doing here is I'm just going to screw it in. I'm going to keep my fingers on the bolt on the inside. There's no need to use a wrench or anything to hold the bolt because you don't want to tighten this too much. So now we have it attached. Let me spin this around so you can see it. We have it attached on the inside. It's at a good height. So the hamster can, can jump right in there and then spin on the silent runner wheel. So that's all there is to it as far as installing a silent runner a hamster wheel onto a cage. Now it could be that that the space in between the metal and the cage could be too small. You might have to force it open like I noticed with the the critter trail which was a previous um, Previous cage I had, I had to kind of force the bolt in between the this, this space here, but it, it wasn't a problem. Uh, so anyway, this is done. This is ready for my hamster. I'll be picking it up on Saturday, a Syrian. And uh, well, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'll leave links to the cage as well as to the silent runner in the description. Thanks very much.